Nalini Ambadi, a professor of social psychology at Stanford University in the US and a mother of two little girls, is suffering from a rare cancer and urgently needs a bone marrow transplant. What makes her situation incredibly difficult is that she has all of six weeks left to find a donor who can save her life. Nalini's plight is representative of many in India who look for donors but fail to find one. If some of us spare a few minutes and go to a hospital to join a donor registry, many lives could be saved at almost no cost to our health. Remember, Nalini has just six weeks left and you can still help her. Nalini Ambari, a brilliant professor of social psychology at the prestigious Stanford University in California, has just six weeks to find a donor to save her life. All she needs are a few cells. This mother of two little girls suffers from a rare blood cancer and is on chemotherapy. To survive, she needs a bone marrow transplant at the earliest. November, that's when Nalini was detected with uh, the relapse. And they have been conducting drives there in various colleges, university towns. When we found no match there, we turned to India because the chances and the probability, probability of finding a match is highest in Kerala and among the Malayali population. Usually siblings are the perfect donors, but in Nalini's case they weren't a match. Though America has a large bone marrow bank, there aren't many South Asian samples. Doctors felt that she had better chances of finding a match among Malayalis from India's Nair community. Her friends have put up a dedicated Facebook page to find such a donor and have even held special camps in Kerala and Mumbai to get more and more people to register as donors. My best estimate is we've got somewhere around 200 swabs in, in, in Mumbai so far. Uh, maybe up and down a bit, but somewhere around there. And, you know, I'm expecting, I would hope for many more. We've got kits enough for at least another 300 or so easily. Uh, I don't know whether we'll get that many. We're trying hard in every way we can. But it's, you know, it's sometimes difficult to get people to come. Sisters Minnie and Sanya volunteered to get their samples tested after reading an advertisement in the local newspaper. In the health uh, in newspaper. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do you know how to, what is the disorder that is she facing and yes, how yes. you can provide Yeah, them? I know, I know. What? And he explained also. Okay. Do you know anything about Professor Nalini? No, I don't know anything about it. I read today in the paper. So, so everybody is not uh, that rich to pay and all of they have, They are willing to, uh, you know, uh, donate. But uh, if they are not uh, rich enough, then it will be a problem for them. India has three bone marrow registries but only 25,000 samples. Experts say India needs at least 500,000 donors considering the great genetic variation in the country. But there are some stumbling blocks, like the donor has to pay for registering and be on medication after the transplant. People don't want to, but the fact is that that's how much it costs to, to, uh, to analyze these samples. This kind of thing to expand on a large scale, which is necessary, it's not possible without government intervention because no private person can afford these kind of fees. The first thing is the family says no because they feel that, you know, Unwanted. they feel that, you know, you're taking this medication and what are the possible long-term side effects? And that puts a lot of people off because it's very scary. And especially if you're not connected emotionally with the patient, it's, uh, it's a tough decision, decision to make. Bone marrow transplants could save hundreds of lives every year in India, but lack of awareness in government facilities for registry and testing has led to many lives being lost. With Rashmi Rashput in Mumbai, Divya Vaidhanathan for NDTV.